Hello learners you must have noticed while searching on google that a text advertisements are appearing at the top of the natural results meanwhile you can also see while you are searching the other websites the same advertisements are appearing sometime you will browse the online products you can see the results of the online products you can read the review of the product and you can check the prices of the product and finally you exist without purchasing anything in a meanwhile when you visit the one more website you are amazed to see that the same advertisement is appearing in that present website you are isn't it do you know how all these things happen and that's it what i would to be talking today the introduction to digital marketing digital marketing is an umbrella term for the marketing of products and services using digital technology mainly on the internet but also including mobile phones display advertising and try other digital medium marketing has always been connected with the audience at the right place and at the right time today that means you need to meet where they were spending more time that is nothing but on internet digital marketing is also called online marketing it has some channels like search engine emails and other websites why is digital market important digital market is important to connect the huge audience where you can sell products and you can buy the products there are few major benefits of digital marketing you can focus your effort on only the prospects most likely to purchase your product or service it's more cost effective than outbound marketing methods digital marketing evens the playing field within your industry and allows you to compete with bigger brands digital marketing allows you to identify and target a highly specific audience with personalized and high converting marketing messages digital marketing helps you track day to day performance so that you have complete control over where you choose to spend your money for instance if you work for a small business with a limited budget you might try investing in social media or blogging that can give you high rate of interest even with minimal spending search engines don't care which brand is biggest but it does care about prioritizing content that resonates best with target audiences as we know that the fourth point is digital marketing is measurable and it's easier to adopt and change your digital marketing strategies digital marketing can improve your conversion rate and the quality of your leads you can engage audience at every stage with digital marketing digital marketing allows marketers to see accurate results in real time if you have ever put an advertisements in a newspaper you will know how difficult it is to estimate how many people flip to that page and pay attentions to it there is no sure fair way to know if that ad was responsible for any sales at all being able to change your strategy easily is a great benefit of digital marketing for instance if an online ad isn't delivering as expected you can quickly adjust it or pause it to yield better results digital marketing allows you to target a specific audience that will yield higher quality leads that are more likely to become customers online channels allow you to follow the entire buying journey of your customers understanding and analyzing how customers are move and operate is important for converting leads 
Digital marketing allows you to track them through that process. History of digital marketing. The term digital marketing was first used in 1990s. In 1993, the first clickable banner went live. Yahoo was launched in 1994. And 1998, world saw the birth of Google, what we are using now at present. After emerging engine, soon social networking sites began to emerge. Now, digital marketing is one of the most important aspects of many business to acquire customers. In this slide, we can see regarding the traditional marketing versus digital marketing. Traditional marketing refers to any type of marketing that isn't online. This means print, broadcast, direct mail, phone and outdoor advertising like billboards. From newspaper to radio, this method of marketing helps reach targeted audiences. As we know that traditional marketing plays an important part in reaching local audience. Ads can be kept for a longer period of time if they are physical. Plus, there is an audience who, who is easier to reach through traditional marketing than online marketing. We knew that traditional marketing is expensive one. It has limited audience and not only that, it's a non-versatile and we can see the low conversion between the marketers as well as the audience. In the traditional market, we can see that results are cannot be measured and it is always delayed because of the communication. Now, we'll move towards the digital marketing. As we knew that digital marketing is well digital. Digital marketing is any marketing a company conducts online, such as paid social media ads, email marketing and PPC advertising. Digital marketing has become widely popular due to the cultural, technological and societal shift around us. As the world become more digital, the way we market has evolved. Not only is digital marketing sometimes more cost effective than traditional, but also it is a more direct way to connect with target audience globally. As we knew that digital marketing is cost effective one, digital marketing is connected with a large audience and it has the varieties of sources and not only that, digital marketing has the higher conversion rate. Digital marketing is always having measurable rates as well as the results. Digital marketing helps us to get the immediate communication. Types of digital marketing. As we knew that there were several types of digital marketing. In that, we'll see the following ones. The first one, search engine optimization or SEO, pay-per-click ads or PPC, social media marketing or S SMM, content marketing, email marketing, marketing automation, affiliate marketing. We'll see one by one. The first one is search engine optimization, SEO. This is the process of optimizing your website to rank higher in search engine result pages. There are a number of ways to approach SEO in order to generate qualified traffic to your website. These includes on-page SEO. This type of SEO focuses on all the content that exists on the page when looking at the website. You can answer questions for readers and rank higher on the search engine result pages. Second one, off-page SEO. This type of SEO focuses on all of the activities that takes place off the page. 
when looking to optimize your website by networking with other publishers writing guest post on these websites and generating external attention you can earn the backlinks you need to move your website up on all the right serps the third one technical seo this type of seo focuses on the back end of your website and how your pages are coded image compression structured data are all forms of technical seo that can increase your website loading speed an important ranking factor in the eyes of search engines like google the next type is pay per click ad or ppc ppc drive traffic to your website by paying a publishers every time your ad is clicked one of the most common types of ppc is google ads which allows you to pay for top slots on google search engine results page at the price per click of the links you place other channels way you can use ppc include paid ads on facebook here users can pay to customize a video image post or slide show which facebook will publish to the news feeds the news feeds of people who match your business's audience the second one is twitter ad campaigns here users can pay to place a series of post or profile back to the news feeds of a specific audience all dedicates to accomplish a specific goal for your business this goal can be website traffic more twitter followers tweet engagement or even app downloads third one the sponsors messages on linkedin here users can pay to send messages directly to specific linkedin users based on their industry and background the next type is social media marketing smm this practice promotes your brand and your content on social media channels to increase brand awareness drive traffic and generate leads for your business if you're new to social platform you can use tools like hubspot to connect channels like linkedin and facebook in one place this term denotes the creation and promotion of content assets for the purpose of generating brand awareness traffic growth lead generation and customers want to learn and apply content marketing to your business the channel that can play a part in your content marketing strategies includes blog post the blog post is nothing but writing and publishing articles on a company blog helps you demonstrate your industry expertise and generates organic search traffic for your business this ultimately gives you more opportunities to convert website visitors into leads for your sales team the next one ebook and white papers ebooks white papers and similar long form content helps further educate website visitors it also allows you to exchange content for a readers contact information generating leads for your company and moving people through the buyers journey the next one is infographics sometime readers want to show not tell infographics are a form of visual content that helps website visitors visualize a concept you want to help them learn the last one audio or visual content televisions and radio are popular channels for digital marketing creating content that can be shared 
online has a video or heard on the radio by listeners can greatly broaden your potential audience as we know that companies uses email marketing has a way of communicating with their audiences email is often used to promote content discounts and events as well as to direct people towards the business website the types of emails you might send is an email marketing campaign include first one blog subscription newsletters then follow up emails to website visitors who downloaded something customers welcome emails holiday promotions to loyalty program members tips of similar series emails for customers nurturing the next type is marketing automation marketing automation refers to the software that automates your basic marketing operations many marketing departments can automate repetitive tasks they would otherwise do manually such as email newsletters email automation doesn't just allow you to automatically send emails to your subscribers it can also help you shrink and expand your contact list has needed so your newsletters are only going to the people who want to see them in their inboxes the next one social media post scheduling if you want to grow your organization presence on a social network you need to post frequently this makes manual posting a bit of an unruly process social media scheduling tools push your content to your social media channels for you so you can spend more time focusing on content strategy next one is lead nourishing workflows generating leads and converting those leads into customers can be a long process you can automate that process by sending lead specific emails and content once they fit certain criteria such as when they download and open an ebook then comes campaign tracking and reporting marketing campaigning can include a ton of different people emails content web pages phone calls and more marketing automation can help you sort everything you work on by the campaign it's serving and then track the performance of that campaign based on the progress all of these components make over time the next slide is affiliate marketing this is a type of performance based advertising where you receive a commission for promoting someone else products or service on your website affiliate marketing channels include hosting video ads through the youtube partners program posting affiliate links from your social media accounts this is part of the relatively new wave of influencer marketing creating a campaign using influencers can be a highly effective form of affiliate marketing finding the right content creators can take your digital campaign to the next level now we'll move towards the social media for digital marketing a social networking site is an online platform that allows users to create a public profile and interact with other users Social networking sites usually allows a new users to provide a list of people with whom they share a connection and then allow the people on the list to confirm or deny the connection. After connections are established, the new user can search the network of connections to make more connections. You can ask the learners to name the various social media website available and ask them individually to rate lowest for the most frequently used and seen as most effective and highest 
for the one considered least useful the different social media platforms and give their reasons ask them to follow up on the usage preferences and patterns in groups on the basis of the answers ask one group to make a pie diagram to show number and percentage ask another group to check on usage time and make a graphic these are the activities where we can find the usage of the digital marketing with the help of social media now we'll move on towards the benefits of digital marketing digital marketing puts the consumer in control it provides convenience third increases satisfaction fourth drives brand loyalty it reduces the selling cycle it reduces the cost of sales it builds the brand it provides target results digital market is a measurable one and not only that it's a cost effective by concluding the digital marketing industry has undergone huge changes since its humble beginning a few decades ago digital marketing is a dynamic one and it constantly undergoing changes now let us watch the video which related to introduction to digital marketing